Heritage Church, and like Louis said, good morning, Jesus. We're so excited to have you on this Sunday morning. What a beautiful day. Today we're talking about some really cool things, and we're going to have some awesome music with some friends. And today we're actually talking about sin separating us from God, and we're going to hear all about that from Sister Megan today, and she's going to explain what that means. But there is such good news at the end of our story, you have to stay tuned and hear what we got to say. I mean, nothing much, you know, just my life is great, you know, I mean, I, I really, um, uh, mm, it's, uh, yeah, I mean, everything's normal, but I, I feel great. I mean, it stinks in here. I don't smell anything. Oh, it's bad. It's filthy and it smells terrible in here. What does it smell like? It smells like trash. Like disgusting trash, like you need to get up and you need to clean it. Well, I mean, I don't smell anything and there's nothing wrong. I mean, my life is completely normal right now. I mean, I'm not trying to hide anything. You smell as bad as your garbage. I mean, what? Yeah, I'm garbage. It's, well, it seems like garbage. So I, mean, I need to go. Did, well, you come over here to be, did you come over here to be my friend? I gotta or go. I, Kayla, come back! Why did she leave? I don't understand. 
Hey, Super Church kids. Today our Bible verse is 1 John chapter 1, verse 9. And it says, But if we confess our sins to God, He can always be trusted to forgive us and take our sins away. So, what that means is when we try to hide our sin, it's like we are carrying around a big, giant bag of smelly garbage. Kind of like what Brother Mark was laying in during our skit. And trust me, it stinks. We can also feel really bad and embarrassed and not know what to do when we have all of this sin. So sometimes we just walk around and we try to pretend like it never happened. But once you've received Jesus as your Savior, you will still make mistakes and do things that are wrong. But when this happens, we can know and trust that God is going to take these sins away from us and He's going to forgive us when we ask. Hey, Enid, right here I have some chocolate Hershey's syrup. Do you want to try some? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Open your mouth. Man, is that yummy? Is that delicious? Do you like it so much you want to share it with other people? <laughs> Do you want more? Okay. This time, hold your hands out. <laughs> Look at that! Oh man, is that making a mess or what? It's dripping on the floor. Is it sticky? It's slimy. Oh, look at that! That is a messy, messy decision right there. Man, what do you think about that, Eden? Man. Yeah, alright. <laughs> my hand is thirsty chocolate. Hey, Super Kids Church. So, guess what? Sin, it is fun. The Bible says that, that it's pleasurable. But also, guess what? Sin is always bad in the end. There's not a positive outcome from sin, right? The Bible says the wages of sin is death. Like, that's just a fact now, right? Because we have sin, you get death. Is death something fun and exciting? No, it's not, right? But you can participate in sin and have a good time. But you know what? It ends bad. And also, sin separates us from God. Is that what we want? No. We do not want to be separated from God, right? We want to be as close to God as we can possibly get. But the enemy, the devil, wants you to be as far from God as you could possibly get. So his goal is for you to be sinful. His goal is for you to have sin in your life, right? Because sin separates us from God. Sin is disobedience to God, to God's word, right? Sin is fun. When Eden had that mouthful of syrup, that was delicious I'm sure right but then guess what it got a little bit messier than she intended when she wanted more I had her open her hands right and it got really messy all over and that's like sin it can become really messy in your life right we don't want that you don't want that it even got on the floor. So in other words, it started spreading into places that I didn't put it on the floor, right? I put it in her hand, but it started spreading. Sin separates us from God, and we don't want to be separated from God. What we want is to live a life close to Jesus. Now, what if I've been sinful? What am I going to do now? I don't want to be separated from God. Well, let me tell you what. Just like you guys heard in the memory verse, the Bible says in 1 John chapter 1, verse 9, if we confess our sins, you have to confess your sins. You have to tell Jesus, I am so sorry. You have to make that choice, right? We cannot become sinless by ourselves. Number one, obviously, we need Jesus. But also... Sometimes we need help, right? Overcoming sin is not something that we can do by ourselves. We need accountability and we need we need to go some go to somebody sometimes and tell them. So, if we confess our sins, he is faithful. He is faithful. In other words, you can count on him 
all the time. He is faithful. He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Man, I don't know about you guys, but that makes me excited because he is going to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Okay, sin is unrighteousness, but he is going to cleanse us from that. So that is so exciting to know. Man, I have lived a sinful life, but Jesus, I am so sorry. And I am so happy that I can trust and be confident in you that you are going to wash away all of my sins by baptism in Jesus' name. And if you've already been baptized, he's still going to cleanse you from that unrighteousness. You just got to trust his word. You just got to confess those sins and get closer to God, right? I love you guys. Praying for you. Hi, Super Church. Thanks for watching today's video. And I hope you got something from it and learned that even though you have a lot of sin, Jesus can still forgive you. Let's pray. Thank you, Jesus, for letting us be on here and watch these videos. Even though we can't gather in a building together, we can still communicate through online. And I thank you for forgiving our sins. Even though sometimes we can have a lot of sin and are struggling in life, you still come to forgive us. And I pray that we have a great rest of our day and that you come and into our home. <laughs> In Jesus' name, amen.